Hello guys, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup first impressions of all this new makeup I got in my VIB haul, so if you're interested in seeing this, keep watching. I'm to start out by putting my Abo Botanica Hawaiian Oil Free Moisturizer all over my face. I only have a little bit of this left, so I bought this. If you've seen the haul, I got this. First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration. So whenever this runs out, I'm going to use that in place of this. So yes, I just put this all over my face because it's winter and my skin is always dried out. So yay! So for eyeshadow primer, I'm going to use the Kat Von D High Voltage Eyeshadow Primer. So, I have three eyeshadow palettes that I got. I have the Too Faced Natural Eyes, the Kat Von D Shade Plus Light, and then I have the Chloe Morello and Ciate Collab. So, I'm going to use this one just because this is like the VIB sale haul and this is a newer product. So, I figured I would try this out for you guys, but I'm going to do videos on the other two later on. But, um... Yeah, I feel like most people are excited for this one, so I'm going to use this one today. So I'm going to use this Eco Tools Highlight Eyeshadow Brush and the Be Sassy color. It's just a lighter pink shade. And I'm going to put this into my crease. And yeah, these shadows, these mattes, touching them, it is so amazing. It feels like gel. It is it's pretty cool. I do not know what I'm looking for today, so I just wanted to try this new makeup out. I'm literally wearing sweatpants and a sweatshirt, so yeet. I'm going to go in with this little shading brush. I'm going to go in with Jet Setter first. This is like a, like this color, but it's purple, so it's like a light purple shade. So I'm going to go in with this and put it all over my lids because I feel like I want a purple look because... She has a lot of purple in this, so I'm just going to put that down for a little base on my lids. I'm really liking this so far. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush. This is Eco Tools, a just a crease brush, I guess. This is one of my favorite fluffy crease brushes. And I'm going to go in with sort of a rusty shade. Um, I'm going to try to build this up, so I'm going to take Unconditional and just going to pop that into the crease. I'm going to go in with the next darkest shade. This is On Fire and this is bronze, copper looking brown caramel shade. Okay, so now I have all that in there and I'm going to go in with... This little LA Colors Eyeshadow Blender Professional Brush. And this is a tapered blending brush. I really, really like this for what I'm about to do. I'm going to take Queen Bee, which is this brown shade up here. And I'm going to take it and put it on the end of the brush. And then what I like to do with this is I like to take it. And since it's tapered, I am like putting it into the like actual crease of the eye where your eye creases and this is a really good brush for that I mean I my friend got this for me for Christmas like two years ago so yeah this is really cheap it's like a dollar for two brushes that come in a set so pretty good and I'm just gonna take that and drag it ooh that's really pretty I feel like it has sort of a purple tint. I don't know. It looks brown, but I feel like it's giving... Huh. I'm not positive. It's cute, though. And if you have green eyes, purple makes green eyes stand out. So, this palette's good for you. I'm using Jet Setter one more time. And I'm going to put this over my lids just to... Darken them up a little bit more. Because sometimes the shadows can come off a little bit while you're blending and everything. 
I'm going to use this little pencil brush and I'm going to take a Daydream, which is this super dark plummy purple. I'm going to zoom this in a little bit. And I'm going to line in the crease with that shade. Just the outer part. I'm going to go in with this little brush and blend that out. Take my Tarte Clay Pot in bronze and this is just really, really pretty darker brown kind of sparkly eyeliner. I'm going to use angled brush, but if you didn't want to use the eyeliner in place of this, you could take um, Shine Bright or Happy. These are two really pretty sort of bronzy shades that would look really good with this eye look. So if you want to do that, you could, but today I'm just going to use this little clay pot because I've been loving this recently and it's so so good I really like it and when I'm doing eyeliner I will line my eyes first and then I'll go in and do the wings after but I just keep up with both eyes so I'm like on the same step with both and this is really soft this eyeliner is like cream so good I love it Alright, so now I have my eyes done right now. I like that my green eyes are popping so much. Can you see this? Like, they're so stinking green. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to do my face. So I'm going to use my tart. Oh my god, look at this. They're literally the same thing. Same, same shape. But I'm going to use my Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. And yeah, this is just a little translucent primer. And I'm going to put this on my face for a base. So for foundation, I'm going to use the Clinique Even Better Makeup. And my mom just gave me this because... She don't like it anymore, whatever, and my foundations are too dark for my skin. Well, they're not really too dark, but like, they look different, sort of, but I can blend it out and it looks fine, but I wanted to try this because hopefully it can be a winter color for me. So yeah, um, this is in the shade Neutral 05, so hopefully it matches. So, I'm going to take this with my little beauty blender sort of thing this is <coughs> from tj maxx i haven't used this in a really long time and yeah it's really big i haven't used a beauty blender sponge in so long i've been using my um elf powder brush for foundation so i'm excited to try this out again as you can see i used to love it because it's like gross let's see how it looks nice for my color to take my Anastasia cream contour palette and I'm going to use the shade banana here and I'm going to pile out with this and I'm going to use my eye beauty little artist dupe brush to apply it so I just take some of this and put it on there and then I'll put it underneath my eyes and I like to pat it on instead of swapping it I feel like it does better when you pat. I'm gonna put some down my nose, my chin. Right I'm going to cream contour and I'm going to use hmm, I'm gonna use this top shade. So just cream contour with it. Oh, the top one. I'm gonna that one kind of messed up. And then I go down the sides of my nose, well, like on the tops of it, and then drag it up to the brow. 
this is like if you want a super, you know, super carved face. And then put it under my lip. And then I will take it and pull it up here. On the hairline. So it all blends in. And then I'll put some right above my eyebrows arch. And then take a little bit more and put it right up here to connect all of it. So there you have it. Oh, I look so cool. That's really cool. Okay, so now I'm going to take my beauty blender and just blend all this out. I'm going to try to stay with the bright end spots first and then I'll go in and blend the contour because I want to keep this brightened up instead of accidentally putting some dark in it. And when you blend this out, if you guys don't know, go back and forth so it doesn't settle into your little creases and lines and stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to blend out the darker contoured parts. I'm going to set all this using the Anastasia Contour Kit in light to medium. This is the powder version of the cream. I'm going to take the banana shade and use my big eye beauty brush this is a rose gold one it's like a I don't know foundation brush or something I used to use it for foundation but I really didn't like it like it would not smooth out my foundation very good and I just didn't enjoy it as much for that but I really like it for powder I'm going to take this really big elf complexion brush and this is sort of a tapered fluffy brush <coughs> And I'm going to take this and I'm going to use this shade up here. And I'm going to set my contour with this. And I like it since it's like sort of rounded. You can push it together like that and then it helps you. And I really like using fluffier brushes for your contour and stuff because it makes it less sharp. And noticeable because when you use darker colors it's kind of hard to blend I mean it is hard to blend I don't care who you are like if you're using a dark shade or something it's harder to blend that out so using a fluffier thing it's a little tad bit easier instead of going in super harsh you know I'm done doing all these things to my face and now I'm going to start using my new products again so I got this Laura Mercier Fall in Love Illuminator collection it's leopard it is literally gorgeous and so heavy duty and look at this big mirror yes so big and I'm going to take this little bronzy shade it comes with and I'm going to bronze with this over top of that uh, contour I'm just going to put this over top it's like really shimmery and like I couldn't use this as highlight because it's too dark so I figured bronzing would look awesome so yeah I'm really excited to try this so I'm going to use the same little elf brush and dip it in there this is the first time I'm using this so I'm excited to see how it looks reminds me of the Too Faced um, Sweethearts bronzer I have in the Too Faced Sun Bunny. But yeah, that's what it reminds me of. It's really nice. I seem to like it. It has a good color to it. But two of the Love Flush blushes. I did not order this one, but I got this one instead of a different one. It's called Justify My Love. And then I have Your Love is King. Your Love is King is like a mauve, plummy looking raspberry shade. And then Justify My Love is like a lighter pink sparkly pastel sort of. And I really wanted to try this today because I had the best idea of all time. 
I don't know how good it's going to look with these eyes, but I really don't care. I'm going to do it anyways. Um, because I really want to pair it with something from this palette. So, I'm going to use this and I'm going to use this little blush brush that I have here. I don't know what brand this is from, but I'm just going to dab in there a little bit. And it's a light pink. I have no blushes that are this color, so it worked out pretty good. And I'm just going to keep the color up here not bringing it to the apples these blushes are so good I really love them so now I'm going to go back in with the Laura Mercier illuminator palette and in here it comes with a little lighter pink it kind of there you go it's like a pink looking shade and I was like blush topper so I'm going to put it over top of that lighter pink blush that I got so I'm going to look amazing I'm just going to put it over that a little bit. Ooh, that's really cool. It really paired really nice with it. Mmm. That's really cool. I usually don't do stuff like this. Like, I never, ever. But, hey. I thought I'd try it out. Alright, so now I'm going to highlight, actually highlight with the highlight palette, <laughs> and um, I'm going to bronze your look, I don't know, here are the two choices I'm going to choose from, I think I'm going to go with the golden color, so yeah, I'm going to use this one right here, it's like a gold shade, and I'm going to use my Fantel Powder Brush from Bella Pro. Got this from TJ Maxx. Dig it in there. I'm just gonna pop that on. These are more of subtle highlights, and I really like that because it's like something you can build up. It's not like Becca Champagne Pop or the Anastasia Glow Kit where it's just like, psh, psh, and then it's like stinking bow. It's gold. Like this, you can work it up. Like if you wanted a higher pigmentation, you could keep adding and adding. Or if you just want a little bit, you can get a little bit. It ain't like it overpowers everything. So I really like this. I didn't know if I would like it. I mean, it was definitely pricey. Um, so I wasn't sure about it, but I like it. It's really nice. I am highlighted and I've literally I've used every color out of here except one so we're doing good today. I'm going to do eyebrows and I got this. My mom gave this to me when she got her package. It's the uh, Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. <laughs> yes! And it's little samples of all the brown shades. That highlight looks so good. It looks so pretty on my nose. Like it's good. It's good stuff. It's not overpowering. It's like really soft and subtle. That's pretty. Okay, like that literally just shot through the whole thing. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to try this. Okay, so I'm going to, I always start with the tail. So I'm going to start at the tail. Ew, my god, that is like so fake looking. Ew. Uh, why is that so oh, this looks so bad though it literally matches my eyebrows though you see you see I'll take the spoolie through it in a second and I'll fix this okay well that's as good as it gets okay I have awful eyebrows <laughs> whatever who cares let's just zoom this out and see how my teeth look because it's not zooming out. What? I had to sling this thing through the wall. Now I'm going to put on my mascara. I'm going to use the. Now I'm going to go in with a darker thing. So. I never use darker eyeliner, so I'm going to use it. 
So I'm gonna take this Stila Smudge Stick eyeliner. This is in Damsel. And I think it's like a little brown. And I'm gonna take it and put it in my lower lash line, hoping that it matches my eyeliner. Um, if not, it's definitely gonna match my eyebrows if it's more of a blacker tone. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna put this in my waterline to darken it up. I've never done this before. I've never been on that sort of the train of makeup where it's really dark. So yeah, I just went on like about from right here over about a third of the way. That's pretty neat. I've never done anything like that before. It's really cool. I really tied in with the brown eyeliner. It looks neat. Yes, girl. Okay, where's my mascara? So now I'm going to apply mascara. This these Yate Lenzen Wonder Blonde Mascara. This comes with the beauty haul set thing of Chloe Morello. So, yeah, I'm going to try this mascara out. I need a palette to look at. Because I don't use fake lashes anymore. Like, I just quit doing that. I will, like, on special occasions or something. But, I don't know. I feel like they just start looking fake, like they're fake lashes. I liked them at first, but then, I don't know, they're just like too fake, too fake for me. So, I just stick to mascara now. Do this out and maybe put the gold over top or just do the gold. I'm not sure. I really don't know. It really takes the look away from everything else but I'm gonna get this to quickly dry and then I'm going to layer on this Bite Beauty gloss in gold literally like a bar of gold this is so amazing and it's so opaque like I put some on well I didn't put some on I, put, I like swatch some on my hand and it is like literal liquid gold there is no sheerness to this whatsoever I have some translucent powder. I'm just gonna set it with some of this powder. Because it is not doing what I want it to. The lip gloss, and yeah, I'm gonna get up close for this because I'm actually really excited to try it. It smells just like lemons. It's so cool. literal gold. Here's the final look. So I hope you liked the video. It was pretty cool. Yeah, I really like the look I created. I'm not much on this red lip looking color. I really don't like this that much. Mm -mm. It's not my favorite. But I really like the gold gloss. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so much and I will see you in the next one.